time, it's time for part nine of Pilgrim's Progress. Let's part go. nine. Hill difficulty. Christian couldn't believe it. How could he have lost his parchment? He searched everywhere and he managed to retrace his steps back to the shelter. It was getting dark now, but he managed to find his way back and there on the ground was his parchment. Oh, with a smile on his face, he picked it up and put it back safely and securely in his pocket and he climbed the hill once more. He was so happy, but so frustrated with himself. I've already climbed this hill three times already. If I hadn't lost my parchment, I'd be miles ahead of the journey by now. But with determination, step by step, he kept on walking and he got to the top. And when he reached the top, he saw the towers of Palace Beautiful. He thought, perhaps they can look after me. Perhaps I can stay with them for the night. And as he had these ideas of a rest, suddenly he heard the sound of roars. And with each step, they were getting louder and louder. And Christian froze. This is the reason why scare and distress left in the first place. Perhaps I should do the same thing, thought Christian. Until somebody else's voice could be heard over the roars. It was Mr. Watchful, Palace Beautiful's porter. He started shouting, Listen, the lions are on chains. You don't need to worry. Just walk through the middle, you'll be fine. Well, Christian didn't know what to do. Should he listen to the porter's instructions? He knew it was what the master would want him to do, so he kept on walking very slowly very carefully and very cautiously he made his way towards the lions and with each step the lions were roaring the lions were getting more angry by the minute and christian was walking through the middle almost with his eyes closed when well what is going to happen to christian is he actually going to make it to palace beautiful well you're going to have to come back next week to find out what happens to christian but you know it's always important to listen to instructions. It's important for us that we listen to the Bible and the people who teach it to us. And it's important to find out about this amazing Jesus that you can find in the Bible. Not only does it change our lives forever, but each and every single day when we read it, we find out some amazing things about it. Well, that's all we've got time for for today. Thank you so much for joining me at Storytime. My name is Paul and I'll see you on the next adventure. Hi, this is Paul again. Thank you so much for joining us for Storytime. I hope you're enjoying these stories so far. There are a lot more stories and a lot more videos coming out soon. So please do hit the like button and share and subscribe.